Luna Moth Creations and I am back, as I told you I would be, <laughs> with my Witch's Moon for October 2022. Yay! We're just gonna get right into the box. <laughs> Open it. All right. Okay. Happy claps. All right. Yay! The theme is the Shadow of Samhain. As the veil begins to thin, we step into the shadows of Samhain to receive wisdom and guidance from our ancestors and spirit guides. During this very special time, we focus on connecting deeply with the spirit world that surrounds us, honoring their unique ability to impact our journey. Within this collection, we work with a very special messenger to bring, wait a minute, what? Within this collection, we work with a very specific messenger to bring to us the information and answers we so eagerly seek. This unique and one-of-a-kind collection is the most anticipated and sought-after boxes of the year, and I'm so thankful that I actually had paid up until this time. <laughs> uh, where to go? We have been working tirelessly for many months to bring these items together for this specific collection and cannot wait for our subscribers to experience these energies during Samhain. The magical items in this box are as follows. Okay. So my oracle reading, I've got this card, and on the back it says self-confidence, strong self-belief and self-worth. Very nice. And then our first artwork is Spiritus Numius, is that what it says? Oh, hold on, let me read about that. Um, let me read about the oracle. Okay, let's go back over here. All right, we have meditated and selected a card from the Making Magic Oracle deck by Priestess Moon to place inside your box. This card and the symbols that are represented were meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Know that there is a specific reason you have received this card. We recommend keeping this card within your Book of Shadows for a complete moon cycle, revisiting its message and impact during your shadow work. Very nice. So I need some self-confidence, apparently. Okay. Then we have, oh my gosh, um, Book of Shadows, Spiritus, Nuntius, Spellbook of Shadows artwork. The specific spell and sigil were created exclusively for this very collection and is charged with the energy and ability to portray your intentions for spirit communication during Samhain. Use this sigil as a reference when creating cards and dress candles or simply replicating it where you feel it must be represented. Place this artwork within your Book of Shadows for future reference. Sigil spell written and created by G. Ibis, illustrated by A.E. Alden. So it says, and I don't know how to say that, Spirit Nuntius, of spirits past, of spirits guides, on words not lost, the Samhain rides this not, I don't know if I'm saying these words right it's it's in the script like kind of um, old English script that's really hard to read uh, this night of nights I call to ask I call to seek oh hear my cry for what becomes and what has done to understand to feel at one of spirits past of spirit guides on words not lost the Samhain Rides? I think that's what it says. So mode it be. Okay, so anyways, that's that artwork. And then, of course, we've got... What does that say? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have to look this up. Book of Shadows. Okay, we've got like lots of artwork. All Hallow Tide, Festivals of the Dead, Book of Shadows artwork. This beautiful and inspired All Hallow Tide, Book of Shadows artwork has been created, excuse me, has been created, cre yeah, created exclusively for the subscribers of the Witch's Moon. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display on your altar and all that stuff. Okay. <laughs> so then we have the Raven. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? I love, oh my God, there's some stuff in here. Oh my God. Okay. Um, 
The Raven Book of Shadows artwork, created exclusively for this very collection, this beautiful and inspired Raven Book of Shadows artwork provides fundamental information regarding the history, folklore, and correspondences associated with this magical messenger. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display in your sacred space. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Very nice. Okay, there's like all kinds of neat things. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, let me try to get all this crinkle paper out of here. <laughs> Got a friggin' mess on the floor. Okay, then we have this sachet, and it's got some uh, backflow cone um, incense. I don't know what this little, there's like a little pad. Are you just supposed to put your cone on there? That would defeat the backflow purpose of it. I don't know. It's like foam. Maybe it's just for funsies. Uh. Okay, let's read about it. Of earth and ash backflow cone incense with matte. Okay. As you allow the smoke from the ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow its calming and grounding energies to surround you. Burn this ritual incense on your backflow incense holder during Samhain rituals and practices. The mat has been included. The mat that has been included is intended to be placed underneath the incense burner. Okay, very good. I could do that. I have a couple different incense burners. <laughs> I do have a backflow incense burner. Okay, I don't know if I'm... Okay, I'm not going to show you guys this. Holy crap! Whoa! I'm not going to show you something until the end. Oh my god, there's all kinds of things in here, y'all. Okay. Woo! Ugh! All right, well, let's get out our tea. So we have the Magician Ritual Tea, and I've got my little tea bag. Oh my God, I keep going tired. I haven't had caffeine yet today. I had a little bit. I had a little bit before I worked out. All right. The Magician Ritual Herb Tea. Created from a blend of black tea and blackberry leaves, this heady and gentle brew has been included within this collection as your pre-ritual companion. The magician represents the need to focus your energy and attention on what you want to create during this time, resonating within creative power and manifestation. As you sip this blend before you begin divinatory practices or Samhain rituals, give yourself the time to pull together your thoughts and approach. Very nice. I don't know what it smells like though. Um, did it, it doesn't tell me what's in it either. Oh, no, it did. I'm just kidding. It said black tea and blackberry leaves. All right, and then we have some herbs. First, we have meadow sweet. Oh, and those of you that um, enjoy my herbs in my shop, I've got a big order coming in. It will be here um, hopefully by the end of this week, and I will have all my herbs back in stock. So just be ready. All right, meadow sweet is an herb that has a long history of being used for its medicinal properties. It has also been used in magic and folklore for centuries. Meadowsweet was also a sacred plant to the Druids. They believed that it had the power to grant second sight and to allow communication with the fairies. In Welsh legend, it was said that women, women were created from blossoms of oak, broom plant, and meadowsweet. Today, meadowsweet is still used in love spells and to create peace and harmony in marriages. In addition, and specific to this collection, Meadowsweet is used to repel negative energies during ritual or divination. Elemental is air, planet, Jupiter, gender, masculine. Oh, I need to rearrange myself. Okay. Then we have Marshmallow Root. And it says, Marshmallow has a long history of being used for both its magical and medicinal properties. The roots are often used to make protective oils and continues to be used for beauty preparations. It is also said to be a favorite of benevolent spirits and keeping a jar of it on your altar is said to help call spirits to your aid. <sighs> Fudge. <laughs> Marshmallow is also considered to be a water herb and is often associated with deities of love and beauty. It is said to be helpful in fertility and attraction spells and can also be used to cleanse your sacred space. Very nice. All right. I've got... Okay, I think these go together. 
We've got another spray, it looks like. Yay. And it is the Raven. And there's yummers in there. I don't know, can you guys see? Probably not. I feel like it never translates quite well. All right, the Raven Magical Anointing Oil. We have created the Raven Mat. Oh, what is this? Oh, just kidding. This does not go with that. Okay, this is just an anointing oil. Ooh, I think there might be some sort of mint. Yes. Okay. With the intention of enhancing your ability to receive messages and guidance from your ancestors and spirit guides, allow this oil to assist you during times of divinatory... Yes! <laughs> I love any kind of mint. Divinatory practices and solemn rituals. The energies within this oil can provide you with a deeper understanding of the symbols and messages that you may receive during this time. It can be beneficial to document your experiences and inclinations so that you can revisit them at a later time or after a full moon cycle. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific intentions for doing so. Wait, what? As you anoint your skin, verbally express your specific intentions for doing so. Yes, I know it. I'm not going to verbally do it right now. Okay. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. We've enchanted this magical oil with ylang ylang, or however the heck you want to say that, peppermint and spearmint. Yes, ma'am. Oils and have included mugwort, echinacea, and spearmint herbs as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a quartz crystal set to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our Samhain magical oil, which I think I still have, from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. I think I have some from uh, last year. All right, then we have some sacred salts. We've got the veil key. Thank you, more keys. Mama needs some keys in her life right now. All right. The Veil Key Ritual Sacred Salt. We have created this very special Veil Key Sacred Salt blend with the intention of dispelling negativity, anxiety, and stress so that you are more capable of receiving messages from your guides during this time. As you work with these magical ingredients, take the time to feel as comfortable as possible, relaxing your mind and body. We've enchanted the Sacred Salt with vanilla, clove, patchouli, and rose oils, as well as rose, lemon balm, and demonia herbs. We've also included a special mixture, mixture, that ain't a word, <laughs> special mixture uh, of our in-between magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of the sacred salt. I want to smell this. It sounds like it's going to smell good. Oh, yes. There's numbers in there. Can you guys see it? Hmm. All right, we've got three more things. Okay, get this crinkle paper. We have our candle. Let's see what color it's gonna be. I bet it's gonna be black. Oh, oh, oh it's my second guess. Purple. <laughs> you guys know I love me some purple. All right, let's see here. Hand-rolled spirit guidance spell candle. We have hand-rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of providing you with the time and energy to call upon your ancestors and spirit guides during Samhain. As you work to answer questions, seek guidance, receive messages, and practice divinatory rituals, allow this candle to enhance your intentions. I feel like I need to turn this way. My neck is getting tired from the other way. Uh, and magical purpose for doing so. Was I in the right place? Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you and your altar. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may create the most accurate and authentic energy. This hand-rolled spell candle has been anointed with ylang ylang, cinnamon, and jasmine oils, as well as a blend from our personal cabinet of witchery. I can't really smell anything. But I love the purple. Okay, two more things, guys. Something. 
Oh my gosh. Yay. I already know what it is, but I can't completely see it. Oh! Does it open? No. It is a cauldron incense burner. Look, you put your thing up there and it backflows and then it comes out by the triple moons. Okay, can you guys see this? Oh my God, how cute is this? It's so cute. Okay, now I know what that mat's for. Put it underneath there. Yay! Okay, you guys, here, I need to get this trash out of here. You guys ready for the last thing? Like, I haven't completely looked at it, but um, I can see it. Okay, let me figure out how to... Oh. My. Goddess. Oh, you can even hang it? Can you hang it? <gasps> wow! Look at this. It's got like a raven freaking skeleton. And then look at the feathers. Oh, and they're shimmery. I don't know if you, can you guys see it? Oh, look at the shimmer. <gasps> I mean, they're like real. Whoa. And then it's got a little um, hangy thingy back here. Oh my God, where am I going to put this? I mean, I'm going to have to pack it because it's going to come with me. Holy bejesus. <laughs> I don't think that's how they, I don't think that's how ravens sound. Book, 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 ah! <laughs> oh, special. Anyways, oh my God, look at this guy. Okay, let's read about it. The Witch's Moon exclusive handmade raven talisman. Sawan is a time of year that has been associated with superstitions and folklore for centuries. There is no other night in the neo-pagan calendar that is so richly associated with the spirit world. We refer to Sawan as the night when the veil between the world and the spirit realms is thin. Salmon is a wonderful time of year to work on communicating with ancestors that have passed or with guides that are associated with your path. In addition, divina uh, divination can be a very useful tool during this time, including but not limited to scrying, oracle and tarot card reading, stone casting, etc. etc. We kindly recommend taking this time to make offerings, ask questions, request guidance, and honor the spirits that so deeply connect to your journey. To assist in bringing you messages during this time, we have included our handmade Sawan Raven Talisman. The raven has been associated with magic, mystery, and death for centuries. Ravens are intelligent birds, and their dark plumage and eerie calls, which I don't think it's the bakak that I did, but you know, <laughs> have long been made have long made them the subject of superstition and folklore. Ravens are said to be able to shapeshift, and they're often associated with the other world in Celtic, Celtic mythology. In North Norse mythology, I'm having a hard time, Odin's familiars were two ravens named, and I don't know how to pronounce their names, but I do know of his, ra his ravens, Hugin and Munin, who represented thought and memory. Ravens are also connected to the undead in many cultures. In some Native American traditions, ravens are said to be the souls of the dead, while in others they are seen as guides to the spirit world. The raven's black feathers can be used in magic and ritual to invoke communication with the dead or to promote shape-shifting and mysticism. Raven feathers are also said to offer protection from evil spirits. You will find a small attachment on the back of the talisman that will allow you to hang this raven near or above your Sawan or ancestral altar. As you perform your personal rituals during this time, visualize the spirit of the raven opening the pathway for communication. Even when Sawan has passed, this raven is a wonderful talisman to keep hung in a dedicated honoring area for your sacred space. Wow, how neat is this guy? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back in this box. Ugh. Okay, I don't want them to get messed up. So that way when I move, I can um, um, take him safely. Wow, guys. That is our witch's moon for October 2022. 
I am so excited that I was able to have this collection. Yeah. And <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment really helps out my channel. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, go ahead and do it. You never know what's going to happen with my channel. I may or may may or may not be back. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. I just need to get myself in order and get situated and take care of some business. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, guys, again, my store is open if you guys want to peruse there. Crystals are 30% off. I have um, some essential oils that are like 50% off. And then I have some other things that are on sale. So if you want to take a look, you can see in the link below, it's entitled My Witchy Store. It's Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. And again, thank you guys so much for all your support. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.